Mark Hill did get that point, 20 to 12 now. Gabby Sweeney sends it over, it does hit the net. Sets it up for a hit by Andy Ely. She does hit it, and it is in bounds. Now just four points away, the Panthers look to wrap this one up. Number 12, Andy Ely, is hitting it over for the, for the Panthers. This is Chelsea Edwards, she does set it up. Sets it up for Gabby Sweeney to hit it over, and it is wide. Yes, yeah, just hit too hard. Panthers now have 22 points, just three away from winning the game. Three points away from grabbing the victory. Any Ely does hit it over. Saved by Park Hill, sets it up for a spike. Does hit it, and it is out of bounds again. Now only two points away. Park Hill South really dominated this game, and it's looking like they're gonna end up winning. But a wide hit by number 12, Andy Ely. Now has the lead by Park Hill South and only by 10. Number 19, Kate Safford turns it over for the Trojans. Sets it up for a spike by Bree Bartosh. Saved by Park Hill. Awesome diving save. Number three, Gabby Sweeney sends it over. Park Hill South now setting it up. Oh. But the Barrow hit it too soft, and the ball does hit into the net. 23 to 14. Trojans with the point. Yes, point Trojans. Number 19. Kate Stafford on the serve. Sets it up. As Matty Murphy hits it over for Park Hill South. Sets it up for a hit. Oh, but Kyle Rush went the wrong way as Kayla Huffman sets it up to nobody and yes, hits the floor. Just coming up short on the save, number 19, Kate Stafford could not get there. Panthers are served just one point away from wrapping this one up. Park Hill South now serving for them is number six, Cameron Matet. And she does hit it over. Park Hill hits it up. Oh, and two people run into each other as Park Hill South does grab the win. 25 to 14. Park Hill South wins the game. Yes, that's the game. So coming out the game, Park Hill Panthers, you know, they came out very strong, being able to dominate offense and defense. Park Hill could just not simply stop them that first game. Andy Ely had a huge game for the Park Hill South Panthers as she came out big, just like her coach was saying that they needed for her to, for them to win. And as highlighted before, Andy Ely, Bree Barkosh, and Annika Welty of this front four, front three of these Panthers could just not be stopped all game, dominating both sides. Announcers, Don Bassett and Liam Henry, sideline reporter, Hannah Erickson, technical director, Drake Keithman, field producer, Azra Fazic, camera, Victoria New Love, and other camera, Olivia Daly. And now we'll send it down to the coaches meeting and player meeting of the Park Hill Panthers. Hannah Erickson's down. Hannah. Thanks, guys. So I'm here with Coach McConnell, the winner of tonight's game. So overall, how do you feel about this win tonight? I felt like we came out and played very aggressive tonight. Um, our passing was on, so it helped our offense. And how do you feel about hosting the Dig for a Cure game this year? I think it's an awesome opportunity for our um, students to give back, especially having teachers in the building that are fighting the cure, um, fighting breast cancer right now. So it's been a, it was a good feeling to have it here at our building. And what are you expecting from your team tonight after this win? I expect us to come back tomorrow, practice hard, and take on Lee Summit West Thursday. Thanks, Coach. So I also have Sydney Stewart here, who is a Park Hill South Volleyball player. Sydney, how do you feel about the win tonight? I feel great about the win tonight. I think we worked really hard, and we got it done. What were some of the things you saw your team do tonight? Um, I saw our team talk a lot, you know, communicate. That's the real important thing to do when you're playing volleyball, so you don't mess up. And what do you expect from your girls tonight? What do I expect? Well, in the future. In the future, I expect nothing but wins, nothing but great things to come. Thank you, Sydney. So, tonight was a great game for a great cause. That's all I have for you guys down on the court. Back to you.